called Victoria Theory and my name is Victoria if that isn't already obvious and welcome to my video on my little shopping spree at Anthropology Online. Now I love Anthropology. I've shopped on there for a couple of years now. I've had a little bit more pennies to sort of spend um, there as it is a little bit more of a pricier price point. Is that the word? Pricier price point. Um, but I love like going on their sales and I like finding like new and interesting pieces. Um, I do just like their edit. Now I know they don't design their own products but they do source their products and they do do like limited runs of things and they work with some great designers and things like that. So I just love the cheerful, interesting element of that. Um, some people might think it's just a bit of overpriced, mass produced um, decor and clothing and maybe but not so much as other brands I guess. But I really really like um, Anthropology um, just because how unique and interesting the pieces are and I just like adding like interesting elements to my home plus I really really like thrifting um, and I do like to find really interesting pieces for my house and um, for myself but um, when I do like to buy new I do actually enjoy shopping at anthropology and I really feel that I can work my vintage pieces my antique pieces in really well with anthropology pieces um, and also I do like their clothes too um, more often than not um, their dresses their blouses and their shoes and actually I really like their accessories which I will get into um, so yeah I thought I'd just quickly share a few pieces that I got this time round and uh, I hope you enjoy it uh, so I may as well just start with the hair accessories. Now I think the hair Express accessories section is amazing. Um, I used to think, oh wow, it's really overpriced for what it is. Like um, I'd like look at the items and go, oh gosh, that's really expensive for like a couple of hair clips. Um, you know, 22, 28 pounds. I don't think it's ever been 28 pounds actually. More at the 22, 24 pound mark. Um, I thought it was quite expensive for you know three um, bulldog clips or three hair clips. Um, and also the headbands go up to 38, 45 pounds. And I thought, oh gosh, that's really, really expensive. However, um, I'm wearing one of the headbands now. However, after buying uh, one of the headbands in the sale, it wasn't this one, it was a few years back, I was actually quite surprised at how good quality and nice the items were. Like if you were to go for like a lower level, like a lower level, lower quality or a cheaper price point, like the, the sequin or the embroidery wouldn't be as intricate and as interesting. Um, it just didn't have that vibe I was getting for. Um, it didn't quite hit the mark. Um, but the anthropology stuff is actually really well made and I'm quite impressed with that stuff. And also their, build, their bulldog clips, which I will show you now. Um, I've left this one in the car, I'm a bit annoyed with myself, but it was like a pink and blue flecked one. Um, and, but these are the two bulldog clips from the set and there's a third one as well. Um, I think they were £24, or it could have been £22. Um, how much were these ones? No, these would have been about £24, £26 um, for three. And I would have thought that was uh, quite a lot of money. But I have bought so many cheaper um, high street items, like from Primark or from um, Topshop or from uh, Zara. And you know what? The stuff doesn't last. Um, it's like one season, or if it gets... I just feel like the plastic isn't as good a quality and then when I received these ones I was actually really pretty impressed at how good quality these actually were um, and they do remind me of um, the Art Deco um, Lucite and Bakelite um, items that are still around now um, obviously this isn't like a high quality plastic like that but it does really have that feel to it and I just love the way how they're made like they're really well produced like even the way how it's glued like a lot of the cheaper ones are just not nicely made and the, they're not lined up properly and they just don't sit properly um i did notice this at liberty as well i do like liberty of london um before all this happened i used to go down to liberty of london and their accessories were really really expensive like looking at 85 um up to 100 pounds for accessories and they weren't even like designers you would know like just by looking at them but what I did notice was the quality was really there and you just like think oh actually you know these items might be like heirloom items um, and I do feel like these are going to be with me forever like I, I absolutely love bulldog clips I love just clipping my hair back sometimes I find hair bubbles just too restricting and um, I've got one in now but I don't find them comfortable to wear all day but with clips 
they do uh, feel more comfortable except when I'm driving I can't wear these things when I'm driving because it really annoys me with the head um, the headrest but anyway these I would totally recommend they do have they don't actually have this um art deco shape in at the moment um like I said they only, only do limited runs tend to and they don't tend to restock not from what I've noticed anyway if I'm wrong um do comment below and just um share some tips with me that that would be great um but they do have square ones they do have this flecked um like fly catcher stroke um almost like tortoiseshell but not really it's got flecks of plastic in it really nice resin um but they always have a head clips in so this time and um, that was my previous order um so this time i ordered some more little ones and i just love the colors of these and um, let's hopefully see if we can get these to you in can we get these to focus so can you see these um i haven't used them yet but they are exactly the same quality these ones are like a matte finish these ones are oh, these ones are more glossy as you can see this is like a matte finish please do excuse my nails we all know that we all know the issues we're having right now so but yeah i really really love these um these were 22 pounds but i did get a, a voucher or um they had like a sale did i get 10 percent off i think i signed up again for a new email with a new email just to get um welcome 10 i think so it's 10 percent off i do believe it's 10 percent off so i did get a little money off that but yeah i really really love these i'm gonna have these forever um yeah super art deco i just love them um next this was from the same time i bought this lot um let's just say i bought these in the last three months or so oh almost christmas doesn't matter um, I got this Desmond and Dempsey um, face mask and I love face masks, masks but I have to tell you this one is actually the best one I've actually had. Um, the strap is actually long enough. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting numb knees. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I've had a few of these but this one has been the actual one that has been long enough because it's got quite, oh, is it a, a big circumference on my head I've got a big head so um, I do struggle to get things to fit me that don't give me a headache um, especially while I'm sleeping so I'm gonna be wearing it all night um, we have a lot of electronics in our bedroom I say electronics we have like gadgets so like air, air humidifiers and fans we've got Dyson fan and I just like to block out all possible light um, and this one is just amazing it's so soft on my face and I just love the fact that it has the um, tiger on there with a butterfly on his nose i can't i'm so sorry can't get that too there we go and um, i have been using it i haven't taken the wash label off I'm supposed to cut that off but um yeah desmond and dempsey um really really nice patterns and things and um, i haven't actually got any of their uh, pajamas i really really like them but i just don't think i'd wear them so this was just a nice way of having something desmond and dempsey desmond and dempsey um you know pattern wise because i really really love their prints and um there we go there's the little logo and uh yeah and i use it like every night this is a cost per wear that's amazing so i'm really really happy with that um so for easter um i didn't want to buy my mum chocolate because um she buys so much chocolate already for the household and um she'll be there munching loads of chocolate anyway so I didn't want to get her that so I wanted to get something a little bit I might get her a little bit of chocolate but I just wanted to get her something a little bit special and I bought this candle she loves candles and she loves she's like me she likes like vintage stuff can we get that to focus please focus oh there we go again please do excuse my nails um so it's got this like engraved etched R um, that's her initial and I just love the fact it's got these florals on it and it's got the matching floral on the top it's got like a filigree lid it's so retro I love it um, it's a beautiful soy scent candle not soy scent it's a soy candle and it's like a gentle it smells like a spa but I really really liked it um, it is mercury is it mercury glass um, but with the gold colour and I just thought that was really really pretty I took the price tag off because obviously it's going to be um present but I think it was it was something like 20 pounds 
and it's a nice big size and I really really like their candles um two years ago two Christmases ago it wasn't last Christmas it was Christmas prior it could actually be three Christmas ago and actually thinking about it um, because this last Christmas was a complete write-off, wasn't it? So I think it might have been three Christmases ago. I did actually buy this from Anthropology, and I still haven't used it. Um, I just love it so much. I love candles anyway, but I really love brass work. Anything like brass, I just think is just so amazing. And this one is, um, like a, um, is it a lily? It's some sort of banana leaf or something like that. It's not a feather, although it could be construed as a feather, but it's not. With a a flower on it and I wouldn't say that's like a lily or anything would you but anyway it's so so pretty and it's a double wick candle and it's got this beautiful etched glass I just think that was so so pretty um that was priced at 30 pounds but obviously I would have used a discount voucher because it's been, been around Christmas time um and I just love that so much that I thought I would get this one so yeah that's that. Um, the last couple of pieces, I have been wanting one of these for absolutely ages, but they are so expensive and um, I have never actually had to buy one because um, I've never had my own bathroom before. Um, so since we've been married and got this new house, we've, got, we've been able to buy things for it. Um, and these have always been really, really pricey, like even the vintage ones are like really expensive. Um, so I thought, when I saw these, and they always sell out so quickly on anthropology, anything like brass and things like that, um, homeware tends to sell out quite quickly. So I bought the brushed steel version, but you can buy the brass version. It's this Victorian style um, bath nest, bath tray. Um, I've been looking at them on um, Amazon, but a lot of them all are like really modern, even though they've got like a They've got like a vintage feel to them they are modern because they've got like appliances um, they've got like things for your ipad or iphone and candle holders and just just gadget holder thingies and i really didn't like that i just wanted something vintage looking high quality really nice ma nicely made that fit the, with the bath and it wouldn't date because i think things with electronics on it would date even if it did look vintage um, this looks like an authentic vintage piece, but it's actually modern and you can actually um, alter both sides. Now, the only issue is it doesn't fit our bath that well. It does sit in the bath, but my bath is apparently too narrow for this. So even as it's like most uh, shortest setting, it's still a tad too long. But it'll be fine when we, when we uh, change the bath or change homes. So... This is going to be with us for a long time. Now it is a little bit pricey, it was £98, but I have to say um, this is the cheapest one I found at all. All the other ones are 150 plus and plus I got a 10% discount on it, so yes. I'm actually losing my voice. You know when you've been alone for a long time and then you just talk randomly to somebody like you guys and now my throat's going... Uh, so yeah, and then my final homeware piece, um, I saw these and it came, um, there was three different ones and I went for the blue one. Um, there were three different ones in three different colours, so you could only get this shape in blue and you could only get a different shape in pink and another one, it was either green or yellow, I can't remember now, but I absolutely love this. I needed um, a watering can for indoors and I just thought this was so chic and it was so well priced. It was um, £26. And again, I used my 10% discount, so it was a nice little bargain. I do actually have a terrarium, um, which I may show you in another video, um, that my husband bought me, and um, I just thought this would go really well with it. In fact, probably not at all, because terrarium is quite um, vintage looking, and this is quite mid-century modern looking, so I don't know. Uh, anyway, I absolutely love it. It's just so neat and so ergonomic and so attractive. Uh, I just really, really like that, so... You should go and check those out um, if you're interested in a new watering can. And finally, this is the one piece that I'm not happy with. Um, I've only ever sent one item back. Uh, uh, was it last year? And it was a headband that was um, by a different brand that I normally get. It's like, gosh, I'm with K, the one. 
that I didn't normally get and it came and it was lovely it was so pretty but it was way smaller than these ones were um it was like a red polka dot one and I just realized I could never I couldn't wear it at all so I sent it back using their return label and then I never got a refund so when I chased it up they were like oh we don't have record of you returning it do you have a tracking number and I said no I used your return label and I didn't realize I needed a tracking number I just thought you just scanned it and whatever and I probably did have a a receipt to prove it but they just they I said is there any way I could can you not like look it up to see and they said no well they didn't reply they just ignored me um I have noticed their returns their customer service also come on TripAdvisor and they only score like 1.3 on there um and there are so many bad reviews very few good reviews I was actually quite shocked so I need to return this but I think I might just um send it back I don't even think I've got a return label so I may have to send it pay the postage um, but I'm really not happy with this at all um, I was really really looking forward to it um, I've been eyeing up a few um, Cezanne pieces which is a French label they do absolutely gorgeous um, like pointel frilly just really cute loose knit cardigans and knitwear that would be ideal for spring and summer and this was a no, this is literally the same. <laughs> I have genuinely no idea what happened there. I just stopped recording for no reason. I thought, oh, has the battery gone out? I didn't get any warning and I checked, it's like, it's fine. So I have no idea why my camera just decided to switch off on me. That was really, really weird. Um, so what I was saying was the quality is just not there. Like this is this pretty as it is and cute as it looks. It's not worth a hundred pounds. Um, it's only seven percent wool, and then it's thirty percent nylon, and then it's fifty-six percent acrylic. And I hate acrylic because anything I have ever bought with acrylic in it, it pills horribly. Um, I get that static itchy feel from it, and also when you wash it, it. it the, the feel of the knitwear after it's been washed it goes through my teeth that's the best it's like a chalkboard feel I just don't like acrylic um so I genuinely wish I checked and this feels like a high street piece that would cost me 25 to 30 pounds if anyone handed this to me without the labels and tags and just asked me to say where this is from I would have said Zara 29.99 that is what I would have gone for so I was expecting Cezanne quality like even the buttons they're not like really high quality buttons I'm really disappointed like even even the finish on the button holes if you can see that can you let me you see that that is not a good quality finish that is a really poor finish I'm so disappointed so yeah, that is going to go back. That's the price tag. Look, ninety-eight pounds, a hundred pounds for that. And I just think, you know what? I can just go on Netta Porte. Um, I can go to Cezanne and just pay the same and just get some, something so much better because this is not going to stand the test of time. I do buy my items to last me years, and I thought I would really love this. So sadly, sorry, anthropology, but this is going back, and I'm going to leave a review. Um, I don't mind people charging high prices for things if they're worth it like if they have actually spent the money and used quality product quality materials like, I can see that starting to pill already and I haven't even worn it and who wants to get an electric shock who wants to get an electric shock from something um, like you go sell it to your friend you just give them a shock because anyway I'm not going to just rabbit on about that. So that's going back. I want my money back. <laughs> um, yeah, but even, even the tag that's been sewn on, you can see the cotton threads through it. It is anthropology. What are you doing? It's horrible. Like, it's such a pretty item. It looks so nice. But even, even on, I don't feel nice in it. It doesn't feel good. It's just doesn't hang well I don't like it so that is definitely going back I'm going to put it in the bag and that can go all the way back to anthropology so 
their homeware i'm loving it at the moment and the hair accessories i do really like most of their stuff um but knitwear i'm going to steer clear of especially if it's just anthropology branded maybe if it's an anthropology designer that might be different um but that's awful so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to try and make a few more um let's just see how this goes um i do have a blog that i'm working on called victoriatheory.com but that is in the way i've been built it's nothing special at the moment you can find me on instagram victoria theory uh, so yeah i'm around and about um my victoria theory i've been focusing a lot on fashion but um i do really like gardening um since i've moved to this house i've learned how to like be a gardener like i'm trying to be a bit more green fingered i love flower ranging i love thrifting i love home decor and um as we're in a new build and it's been over two years now we're actually allowed to like properly decorate now so um it's going to be a bit of a journey for me uh so if you want to see more of that and see pretty much what i'm doing i mean i'm not a pro in any of this stuff but um i thought i'd just share and uh hopefully somebody will find this interesting so if you enjoyed this video i'd really appreciate it if you liked it if you have any questions if you have any comments um about anything um from anthropology or any, any like experiences you've had with it i'd really be interested to hear what you you have found um but other than that i'm just gonna let you guys go um yeah really appreciate you watching and i'll speak to you soon bye for now mm -hmm.